welcome back to Ever So Sweetly. So in today's video, we have just left Disneyland. We are now in downtown Disney and we're headed over to Black Tap to get some dinner because it is one of our absolute favorite restaurants at downtown Disney. And we haven't had it in so long and we love it. Yum, love it. So that's where we're headed now and I thought I would just bring you guys with me so you could just kind of see the experience and vibe of eating at Black Tap. So yeah, if you want to see the video of us having our wonderful Disneyland day, I will leave the link to that below in the description. My kid over here chilling, <laughs> getting all kind of comfortable. <laughs> I absolutely love downtown Disney at nighttime, so I'm hoping that we will be here for a little bit so we can see like all the lights and stuff come on because it looks so pretty. I just love it. So we're getting close, almost there. They got all these construction walls up because they're building more restaurants, which is so fun because I love trying new things. All right, we have made it. The interesting thing is, is that the first time that we tried this, um, I don't know how new it was, like how long it had been here, but the line was from the door, which is right here, all the way down, like at the end of this thing. And we waited to come eat here, but it was worth it, definitely worth it. Okay, so there's a bit of a line, but definitely not like it was before. So the other thing about this place is they usually will give you a menu um, as you're waiting, just because you once you get in, you, you pretty much order at the counter almost right away. Okay, so we got one of the menus. You can see quite a bit of the stuff that they offer here. They have quite a lot of options. So what we always get when we come, and I swear this is probably not the best Thing to never try a new thing but the, the thing that we get is so good that I cannot help myself and we always get exactly the same thing hey where is it it's not on here our our sandwich no <gasps> okay so honestly and truly I'm not seeing our sandwich on here I'm going to die no oh my gosh oh my gosh I need to ask this guy. Okay, so I just asked the guy. I had to confirm. Our sandwich is not there anymore. I cannot believe this. I am not even joking you when I tell you that we come to this restaurant for that sandwich. That's why we come. Literally for that sandwich. And now they don't have it anymore. So, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I guess we're gonna, he, he told me that there's one on the menu, let me show you which one. That's like the closest option, but he said it definitely does not taste the same, that it's still good, but it doesn't taste the same as that. So it's this one right here. It's, it's the Cali chicken sandwich. Grilled chicken, Swiss, truffle mayo, sliced avocado, pickled onions. That is not the same, you guys. So it used to be like, it was a grilled chicken sandwich and it had avocado on it, but it had like a cilantro cream. Oh my gosh, it was beautiful. It was so delicious and it's gone. All right, so I feel like, I guess the shock has somewhat worn off that that, that sandwich is gone. So now I need to figure out what we're gonna get. I'm like beyond sad. I can't even explain to you how sad I am. That was, that it was like called a Baja chicken sandwich, I think, and it was so good. All right, so I'm gonna get that one, the crispy chicken sandwich. Not the one that he said is most like the old one. I feel like I can't do it because I just, I like the old one, so I'm, it's not gonna be as good, I already know that. So now I'm gonna try this crispy chicken sandwich with buttermilk coleslaw, cilantro, fresh lime, with spicy mayo, and Korean barbecue. So the line has actually gotten a bit longer while we were trying to <laughs> figure that whole situation out. So now we're in line and I'm gonna try, okay, I'm just like excited, that's okay. I'm gonna try something new and it will be good. Emmanuel is gonna go with this Mexico City burger, prime burger, pepper jack cheese, pickled jalapenos, crispy onion ring, and chipotle mayo. Okay, so so far this experience at eating Black Tap has been different than any other time. Um, we've never eaten there with our babies before. So this time we had strollers and I did not know that you couldn't take the stroller inside. So once we got up to like the door, the worker said that we have to park the strollers first. So we went to go do that, and then of course the babies needed to eat, so we did that. So now I'm about to go get in line to actually eat there. 
Yeah. <laughs> so good to know you can't take your stroller inside. The other thing about this restaurant is that they are super, super well known for their crazy shakes. So we're gonna have to get one of those two for sure. You can see the line for the crazy shakes is quite long, but I think, and I haven't been here in a couple years, so I'm not 100% sure, but I think that you can order a crazy shake like from the waiter or the worker that comes by while you're eating and then they can bring it to your table rather than you having to go out and stand in that line separately. Or you can order it up here when you get into um, just like the counter where you order your food, you can order your shake there as well. All right, so we're in here in the line. Um, so right when you come in, you just order right here at the counter and then they bring it out to you at your table. I know you can see them making the crazy shakes over here too. Okay, so it's really loud in here because they play their funky music real loud, but it's <laughs> always so much fun. That's one of the things that I really like about this place is their music when you walk in. Uh, but I wanted to show you them like this little crazy shake spot. This is where they make their shakes. They're about to make one right now. Let's see. Multicolored and everything. I love it. All right, let's see what they're making. Look at Evie. She's making a shake. Sticking a cookie to the side with whipped cream. That is a whole cookie sandwich on that shake. This is why they're called crazy shakes because they are absolutely crazy, humongous, and full of stuff. But wow, that was crazy cool. It looks good. I don't know what kind of shake we're gonna get, but definitely gonna get one. All right, so once you order, they give you a number and then you go find a table. So that's what we're about to do, hopefully outside. All right, so we're finding something out here. I think this one might work. Oh, here we go, this is even better. Yes, this is enough room for all of us. My poor sleepy baby. Hi, Evie. Are we gonna eat? Are you hungry? <laughs> Dancing. I told you one of the funnest things about this place is the music that they play. So much fun. All right, so it worked out without having the strollers in here. We just had the Twinkies in their seats. I'm beating Elizabeth right now, but my little delirious baby. Evie's going delirious, getting down at dinner. <laughs> okay, so here's our food, and as you can see, they both plates look really good. Um, they give you a lot of food too, which is great. I didn't know what that was. I thought that was his burger, but that's his <laughs> uh, crispy onion ring. So there's Emmanuel's Mexico City burger. And I'm gonna put in a picture of what the chicken sandwich that we used to get looks like, the Baja chicken. So here's mine now though, this is the crispy chicken sandwich. And the chicken looks a little, I don't know, kind of, I don't know, <laughs> extra crispy. <laughs> Not overly appetizing. I liked the grilled chicken on the other sandwich a lot better, but there they are. And here's Evie's food. She has crispy chicken tenders and broccoli. She would much rather have french fries and broccoli and I can't blame her. Same girl, same. Okay, so here's the sandwich all together. It looks pretty good. Um, it's really big though, so it's hard to get your mouth around it. The bread is super soft. Um, but yeah, so definitely it was, it was okay. It was definitely not as good as the other sandwich though, for sure. So trying to decide thumbs up, thumbs down. What does it deserve? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Now we'll go right in the middle. But still enjoying my food and my french fries and being at downtown Disney. The other cool thing about having dinner at Downtown Disney is there are places where you can go and stand between the buildings and catch the Disneyland fireworks show. All 
Okay, so this is the shake we got, the Bam Bam Shake. Fruity Pebble Shake with a vanilla frosted rim with Fruity Pebbles, topped with a Fruity Pebbles Rice Krispie Treat, Strawberry Pop-Tarts, Laffy Taffy, Whipped Cream, and a Cherry. And this was really yummy, so we got, we always do that where we just get one dessert to share. It was really good. Um, my favorite part, 100%, was the Cherry Pop-Tart. But yeah, we all really enjoyed this. It was a nice end to our meal. Okay, everybody, so that is gonna be it for today's video, or tonight's video, I should say, of us eating at, <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> of us eating at the Black Tap restaurant at Downtown Disney. Um, I enjoyed my food, it was good. The flavor was really good. Um, the Crazy Sheik was really yummy. None, no part of it was as good as that Pop-Tart. That Pop-Tart was, oh, so yummy. Um, and the food was good. It was a little bit hard to eat, but even the other sandwich was a little bit hard to eat. However, I would not drive all the way out here and spend $19.50 on that plate, on that sandwich, any of that. Um, previously, for that other sandwich, 100%, I would come do that. And I would drive all the way out here to do it, and I would be happy about it. So, that makes me sad, because now I don't feel like I would drive all the way out here to eat there. But you know, it is what it is. Their food was good. We had a nice time. We enjoyed the environment and the music and yeah, our crazy shake was really good. So I hope you enjoyed the video if you did and got something out of it or just liked it at all, please hit the like button and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye. I absolutely love how pretty it looks at downtown Disney at nighttime. So pretty.